can we do even better? Can we? Well, there ain't no such thing as a free lunch, she says at Google. <laughs> to do better, we actually need something else. So what is it going to take? We need, any guesses? More information, exactly. That was actually very nicely put because that says two things at once. More information in the sense of just more of the same data or more information in the sense of other kinds of information that might be helpful. In other words, more features. Features in this setting refers to variables, attributes in other settings. So I'm going to be generous and I'm going to give you the fat percentage. How do you feel about that? Is that going to be helpful? All right, so let's see. So this is what we were working with before. This is our form, and we just had to muck about with these two parameters here. And we used an optimization algorithm to set them. And notice, who here has taken a stats course of some kind? Yeah, you probably saw a regression. It was an entirely different story in that course, the way that you were going about it. There was all this other stuff about what it means, and p-values, and t-tests. None of that is relevant here. All we are trying to do is optimize that function to set these two numbers so that the difference between the calories predicted and the actual calories is as good as possible. That's it. That's all there is to it here. Much, much simpler than what the stats course did. So there we go. Those are our answers. Lovely. Now, it's not going to be a line anymore if we add fat percentage. It's a bird, it's a plane. Same structure, just we had another one of these right here. And now the only pertinent thing for you to realize is that there are three widgets to tinker with. Nice. And plotting it there, we need to add a dimension. I can't make heads or tails of this. So a little shout out to better plotting. How about adding color? Okay, uh, still not enough because I can't see what's going on. The color is more calories, gets redder. But I, I can't see what's going on with this fat percentage and weight plane. So, ah, okay, now I can kind of see what's going on. And if you're used to looking at these things, you kind of see the punchline that's coming. But even if you don't see it, let's find out what happens if we run the algorithm. So again, our job is to get those three numbers to be as good as possible. We have our three options. I pick the getting on with it. And so we have this mosquito netting fitted through our data for us. What is it trying to do? Get as close to our points as possible. And those are the numbers that do it. Kish Lorraine is still taunting us. How did we do? We are now off by 47 calories on average. Before, it was 49. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I had to double the number of ingredients into my recipe, and all I get for that is this measly tiny improvement. Maybe after all, this isn't such a promising direction to go in. Maybe I would prefer the simpler model, but of course, don't worry about that too much. You can always try both of them in a new data set and see which one is working better. So how are we doing so far? Using only the mean. There's our underestimate. With simple linear regression, that means one ingredient. We've improved. And only a slight improvement with multiple linear regression. That means more than one input into the model. All right, I'll take a question. Um, can you do a model that has uh, that percentage times weight? That's, that's Can you do a model that does fat percentage times weight? Absolutely. And there's a good reason to think about doing that, like the bit about the water amount of the secret ingredient. We didn't even cover that, right? If I just add, if I just dilute the, uh, the secret ingredient, I can mess about with the fat percentage. The, the, the reasoning around whether or not you should go ahead and try a model like that is, does it take a long time to try it? If no, just do it. Even if you don't have as solid of a logical argument, try it anyway. You can always try something like that. And yes, it's very, very easy to adjust the method. 
to input something like that. You just make the um, feature by multiplying them first, and in it goes, job done. So certainly could try that. 